Hi, I'm Randy Kelsey. Welcome to my video tutorials. Today I'm going to share with you my masterclass. It's a five part series on how to make a living with your songs using my CPM system. Okay, so now let's move on to part four, pitching. So now what we want to do is we have this amazing song, right? We know 100% that this song is going to be licensed. We know 100% this song is going to make us money because we've been through the first three steps. And we have this amazing, awesome song that's in high demand. So all we need to do now is find the perfect home for it. So the easiest way to get your songs heard by music supervisors, for those that you don't, of you that don't know, music supervisors are those who are in charge of actually choosing the song for the TV show or for the movie, for the ad. Um, and the easiest way to get your songs heard by them are through agencies. Um, many reasons for that. A couple of the main reasons are uh, the agencies work as um, like a buffer. They can uh, check which songs are high quality and which songs um, fit the um, fit the submission guidelines and what they're looking for. And also, it helps them. Just admitting Greg in. Hi, Greg. Um, also helps them with the legal side of things, with the contract, with the paperwork side of things. You know, this is a massive thing in song licensing and you have to have all your paperwork and all your legal documents in order, ready to go. Because if somebody wants to license your song, they're going to want it within 24 hours. And if you're not, if you're not, um, you know, if you don't have all that in order, you're going to lose the opportunity. Uh, if something happens and your legal paperwork's not in order and, you know, the agency or the supervisor gets in trouble for it, you're going to damage your reputation massively. So this all needs to be in order. Um, you can contact music supervisors directly, um, but the chances of getting consistent results through this channel is tough and takes years of networking and building relationships. So again, you know, in the beginning, we want to work smart and we want to increase our chances of success. Now, I don't, I'm not saying don't do this. Try everything in the beginning. Try everything. And when something starts working for you, you can start um, focusing more of your time and attention on that, in that avenue. Um, and it's important to be creating songs consistently uh, to give your agent as many opportunities as possible uh, to get you a placement. The more songs you have, the more chances you have. Um, that's just the way it is. When contacting agencies, uh, you need to do your research on them properly. Um, find out whether they work within the songs in your genre. Um, excuse me. Um, find out what their submission guidelines are as well. They have very sub strict submission procedure. Um, you can usually find that out online. Some, some of them, like Crucial movie, Music, you can submit online. Some of them you need to email them. If you do need to email them, do some homework on them. Check them out. Um, find out something that you love about them or that you respect about them uh, or that you like. And when you send them that email, be very personal. Um, tell them what you love about them, what they're doing, and that you have a song that's similar that may, may suit their catalogue um, and that you'd love for them to hear it. And send an MP3 link only. You don't want to be clogging up their, um, their inbox with MP3s or, or WAV files. Um, send them a link and also make sure that that link, that that MP3 um, has your metadata added to it. For those of you that don't know, metadata is your personal information and your PRO information um, that is stored inside the song. So let's say, for example, a music supervisor or an agency, they love one of your songs, um, but it's not a right fit for them now. Um, what they'll do is they'll put you in their own library and their own category with tags of your sound. And one day when they're asked for a certain type of song, they'll go through their list and they'll come across your song and they'll right click and put, say, get info and there'll be no information there. You've lost that opportunity to potentially make thousands and thousands of dollars. Having your information there allows them to contact you by phone, by email. Um, it shows them that you uh, or your paperwork is in order, that you're signed up with the performing rights organization, and bam, you've got that opportunity. 